Okay, so there's this guy, and he's a big guy. He was an ex-offensive lineman. Then he became a head coach in the NFL for the Oakland Raiders. He wore a lot of bad 70s clothes, and he was the head coach of this team. It was just a itch in the mouth, crazy football team. And then he gets out, and then the next thing you know, he's in these beer commercials, and he's, he's busting through walls, and, and, and he becomes a broadcaster, and he, he says boom and whap, and he's drawn on a telestrator, and he gets really loud, and he gets really fast. That's the old body slam, you know, like they do in wrestling. Boom! He rides around in a bus. He doesn't like being in a plane across the country, going from town to town, game to game, city to city. People can't get close enough to him, but he's kind of a loner. He's a guy that likes his privacy, but on Sunday, he will light up your television screen with words that aren't even words. Boom, right there. That's a wham block. That's John Madden, and he's dearly missed in the game today. You gonna be a football player when you grow up? Today is the best day of your life. Believe me. Give me eight years of daylight. That's all. Greatest leader I've ever known. What a ride it's been. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I've been in football all my life. Behind John Madden's office in Pleasanton, California, is an old Raider blocking sled. The core of it was was football. To me, this is where it all starts. You see the, you know, seven-man sled. It's the greatest game in the world. Hitting a seven-man sled, that's the first thing they do. So that would get rid of all hangovers. Football uh, has been my life, and it's given me so much. When you call that snap count, you should hear one boom. Now, playing is the best thing. Coaching is the next best thing. When you're coaching, you're just standing out here. You can ride this thing all day. But when you can play it for a while and then go on with your life's work and it's still football, you're the luckiest guy in the world. Down, set, ready, 100, 200. How about I do boom? You know, right, 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 right. You know, and then you can just ride it the whole thing. Okay, quick defense. Harry Carson. Harry Carson. Then John Madden. John Madden. And like the room exploded. And it happened so fast that Fred and Drew, his director and producer, they were in mid hug. And my camera came out and it was shaking. And I've got this blurry picture. And I don't remember what I look like or what happened, but I just had tingles all over me. We watched the NFL Network, they're going to announce it, and I said, they can't take this away, can they? I mean, they can't say we're kidding, we want it back, <laughs> you can't, you don't fly to Hawaii, you can't have it, I said, no, we can't take it away, like, hey. The cruiser finally arrived, but it went past the hall and out to the Canton airport. He walks on and takes the, the mic from uh, uh, the flight attendant and, and welcomes everyone. Yeah, welcome to Canton, everyone. This is the first time I've been on an airplane since 1970. <laughs> I'm just so happy to have all of you here and, and, and being part of this. And I just want to say, just have fun. If you, if you have any questions, if you have anything you need, don't ask me. As Jim Otto sitting up there would say, I used to always tell the team, don't worry about the horse being blind, just load the wagon. Go get them. Drop them. Today is a very emotional and inspirational experience for me to present the great John Madden into the enshrinement in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Today feels like the second time in my life that I'm being carried off the shoulders of others. Yet instead of off the field, it's into the Hall of Fame. And instead of five or six guys, today I ride in the shoulders of hundreds of friends, coaches, players, colleagues, family. And I just say this, I thank you all very much. This has been the sweetest ride of them all. Thank you. Madden's football lives continue. He watches all the games at his production facility and advises the NFL's competition committee and safety panel. Just because I'm not actively broadcasting or actively 
doing that. I, I still love it. I'm still interested in it. I still want to know what they're doing. I still want to know why they do it. And the next thing that comes is you got shotgun, and you have to get shotgun runs. So when I do this, I'm always thinking about how can we make the game better between the safety issues and the rule issues. Uh, that keeps me pretty much involved. In the NFL, Madden will always be a part of the conversation, especially at night in the Hall of Fame. After all the people leave and the last guy closes the door, I believe that the busts talk to each other. Madden would share stories into the wee hours, but when it comes to his own lasting legacy, he's at a loss for words. I don't think about that. I don't think that's up to me. You know, I, mean, I really, I honestly don't, I don't think about that. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We love John Madden. He was true to himself. He was true to the people that were around him. He cared about people. He loved people. He loved his players. He loved his family. And he only wanted the best for all of us. He was a Hall of Fame football coach. He was a gigantic television star. Why? Because the bit of advice that everybody gets that's easy to say but hard to follow, be yourself. He was able to be himself in spades, and people loved it. I look at so many people that never did what they wanted to do. Eh, maybe a little happy. I look at John Matt as the one guy that I could point to that did what he wanted to do the whole, his whole life. You sit in a room with him and it's like, what am I going to add to this? I'll just be quiet and take it all in. And uh, I also know that those around him really consider themselves lucky and part of his inner group. Remember that guy that you loved the most when you were growing up? He was your school teacher who was the most brilliant, yet at the same time really cared about you. The guy who came and sat with you and played cards, or maybe even later on video games, well, he exists. He exists. His name is John Madden. There's no pretentiousness. Just a guy who I know cared about me and I cared about him, and, and, uh, and there's so damn much fun. I mean, he's been in the public eye so long, and we live in this gotcha society. By being who he is and sticking to his guns, he's never embarrassed himself. And he's somebody uh, from the time I was five years old to now I'm you know, 53. I've always been, I've been proud of every single thing that he's ever done. You know, the word that I would use, the strong sense of the word, he's, he's very intimate. He cares about everything. How can you find a game that you really like and you can stay in it your whole life? I mean, I'm so damn lucky that I was able to do that.